Hello there. In the previous videos, we have introduced several different types of functions that arise naturally from infinite series and integrals. One of them being the Riemann zeta function, zeta of x, which is defined to be equal to the sum from k is equal to 1 to infinity of 1 over k to the power of x. From these special functions, particular values of them, for example, zeta 2, zeta 3, zeta 4, and so on, often arrive in natural scenarios. For example, uh, zeta 3 uh, is sometimes referred to a pays constant. Has been seen to come up in several different types of physical scenarios. Another special function that we have introduced is, for example, the Dirichlet eta function, uh, eta of x, which is defined to be equal to the alternating series, k is equal to 1 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of k plus 1, all over 1 over k to the power of x. One can sort of view the Dirichlet eta function as an alternating Riemann zeta function, since that's pretty much the only difference. Clearly, there is one special constant that is often seen throughout all of mathematics, and that would be eta 1, which is very easy to prove to be equal to the natural log of 2. Another special function that we haven't really talked about would be the Dirichlet beta function, which is defined to be beta of x is equal to the alternating series from k is equal to 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the power of k of 1 divided by 2k plus 1 to the power of x. Notice that the Riemann, the Dirichlet eta, and the Dirichlet beta function are pretty much the same, except one only focuses on powers of odd integers instead of powers of all the other integers. In this video, we're going to be primarily focusing on a very special constant associated with the Dirichlet beta function, which is referred to as Catalan's constant. Alright, so let's just take a closer look at the Dirichlet beta function and then look at a very particular value um, because this infinite series should look familiar to another uh, Taylor series that you should have encountered already. So we're going to be looking at the value Dirichlet beta of 1. So this is, of course, going to be equal to the sum from k is equal to 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the power of k. Uh, so when x is equal to 1, then this is just going to be equal to 1 divided by 2k plus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a value of x. So this is going to be equal to k is equal to 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of k uh, times 1 over 2k plus 1 times x to the 2k plus 1. Uh, and this, of course, is going to be evaluated at x is equal to 1. So, as we should already know, this expression right here is precisely equal to the Taylor series of the arctangent function. So this is going to be the arctangent x of function, evaluated at x is equal to 1, which, of course, is just equal to the arctangent of 1, which, as we know, is equal to pi over 4. So the Dirichlet beta function evaluated at 1 pi over 4, which of course is a constant that is often uh, seen throughout mathematics. So now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the constant um, that this video's primarily focused is going to be on, and that is Catalan's constant, uh, which is sometimes abbreviated um, by C, but we're going to be using the letter G, which is also a commonly used notation. So we're going to define g to be equal to the Dirichlet beta function evaluated at 2, which means Dirichlet beta is going to be equal to the sum from k is equal to 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of k, 1 over 2k plus 1 to the power of 2. So if we look at each of these terms, that means g is going to be equal to, so when k is equal to 0, that's going to be uh, positive. So we have, uh, it's going to be 1 divided by, so 2 times 0 is 0, so we have 1 squared. Then we're going to have minus 1 over, and then that's going to be 3 squared, then 1 over 5 squared minus 1 over 7 squared plus minus, and so on. So clearly each of these terms are monotonically decreasing. Um, there you, therefore, you should be able to easily get an approximation for g by grabbing the first, say, n terms, where n is arbitrarily large. So you can find that g is going to be approximately equal to 0 0.91596559.
and so on. All right. Now let us look at a few integrals, or definite or indefinite integrals, um, for which the Catalan constant sort of naturally arises. So the first example that we're going to look at is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of the arc tangent of e to the minus x dx. So we're going to begin by uh, doing a Taylor series representation. So we're going to be looking at the Taylor series for arc tangent, which we uh, already know. So that's going to be equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of the sum from k is equal to 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the power of k, 1 over 2k plus 1 times the variable e to the minus x to the power 2k plus 1 dx. Right? So we can factor out this summation. We can factor out the negative 1 to the k, the 1 over 2k plus 1, because this integral only depends on x. So we can rewrite this integral as the sum from k is equal to 0 to infinity of this term. Uh, times the integral of 0 to infinity, e to the minus x to the 2k plus 1 dx. Right. Now we can use our power rule. Right. Remember that negative 2k plus 1 is the constant associated with this, because we're pretty much looking at an integral of e to the cx, right? which is just going to be equal to 1 over c times e to the cx plus some arbitrary constant c. So that means this integral is just precisely equal to the sum from k is equal to 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the power of k, 1 over 2k plus 1, times, and then we're going to have, uh, let's see, e to the minus x to the power 2k plus 1, all over negative 2k plus 1, that's the constant in the exponent, and then we're going to be evaluating this x term as x goes to infinity, as x goes to 0, and then we're going to subtract those two limits, right? So as x goes to infinity, k is a positive number, so that means e to the minus x to some constant is going to go to 0. So this is going to be equal to the sum from k is equal to 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the power of k, 1 over 2k plus 1, the quantity squared, times, then we're going to have 0 minus 1 all over negative 1, right? And that's, of course, going to turn to positive 1. So therefore, this is going to be equal to the sum from k is equal to 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the power of k, 1 over 2k plus 1 squared, which is the Dirichlet beta function evaluated at 2, which by definition is equal to the Catalan's constant. Now let us look at this integral from a different perspective. So let us assume we have the integral from 0 to infinity of the arc tangent of e to the minus x dx. And let's assume that we do not know um, that Taylor series is the best way to sort of go about this, right? So how are we going to approach this? So what I'm going to begin by doing is I'm going to use a u substitution. So I'm going to be letting u be equal to the interior, right? Which is maybe what a lot of young people would do. So of course, if u is equal to e to the minus x, then du is going to be equal to minus e to the minus x dx, which means that dx is going to be equal to minus um, 1 over e to the x du, which means what? So that means dx is precisely equal to negative 1 over u du. If I take this definition and I take the log of both sides, I'm going to get the natural log of u is going to be equal to minus x. So that means I can negate both sides of this equation um, by x. So I can have, say, x is equal to the negative natural log of u, uh, just in case I may want to replace that um, later on down the road. Also, uh, when x, as x goes to 0, u is going to go to 1. And as x goes to infinity, u is going to go to 0. So that means our integral of interest turns into the integral from 1 to 0 of the arc tangent of u times negative 1 over u du. 
So since we already know that our original integral actually is equal to the Catalan's constant, then we get the identity g is equal to the integral from 0 to 1, because we can factor out this negative sign, of the arctangent of u divided by u du. As we already know, there are several functions that are non-elementary. For example, sine x over x, uh, cosine x over x, x divided by ln of x, e to the x over x, e to the minus x squared, and the list goes on. Arctangent of x over x also will be a non-elementary primitive. For example, this actually is defined to be equal to the arctangent uh, integral. So we can define a new special function, ti of x. We can define this to be equal to the integral from 0 to x of the arctangent of t over t dt. If we define that as so, then that means this is going to be equal to the arctangent integral evaluated at 1, or the inverse tangent integral, right? So now we have another function that is related to this Catalan's constant, g. Now since this video is just meant to be an introduction, I just want to state a couple of observations um, that I particularly find interesting, because it shows that the Catalan's constant uh, actually does have an intimate connection with trigonometric functions, exponentials, logarithms, and derivatives. So I leave it as an exercise to prove that the integral from 0 to 1 of arc cosine of x, all divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared dx, actually is equal to pi squared divided by 8. Now if you slightly modify this integral, one can find that the following integral is true. The integral from 0 to 1 of arc cosine of x all over the square root of 1 plus x squared is actually equal to g. Another integral uh, that should be easy to prove is the following. The integral from 0 to 1 of the inverse hyperbolic sine of x all divided by the square root of 1 plus x squared dx is equal to 1 half times arc hyperbolic sine squared evaluated at 1. So, as an exercise, one can find that a slight modification of this integral is the following, namely the integral from 0 to 1 of inverse hyperbolic sine of x, all divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared dx, actually also is equal to g. One identity that you also may remember is that the integral of secant of x, the um, indefinite integral, is actually equal to the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x plus tangent of x, plus some constant, call it k. Now one can then integrate both sides of this expression, say on some interval of interest, and one can show that the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the natural log of secant of x plus tangent of x dx is actually equal to 2 times Catalan's constant. And also, Catalan's constant comes up in other logarithmic trigonometric combinations. Uh, for example, the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the natural log of the cotangent of x dx. So very simple looking um, integral, but this also is equal to g. Of course, these are just some exercises on using Catalan's constant to sort of evaluate some basic integrals. Um, but these integrals are actually not very difficult looking, and they are actually natural integrals that come up in a variety of situations. And there are, of course, several more. Um, but we'll bring these uh, other special cases up when we need them in the near future. But this is just an introduction to the Dirichlet beta function evaluated at 2. Uh, which is most of the time referred to as Catalan's constant. Hope you enjoyed.